Hello sisters, this is Debbie from DomeParish.com. I have to apologize, it's been a while since I made a video here. And the reason being is this trip, this mission trip that we're taking this year, has had some really unusual things happening and we feel that God is allowing that and we are seeing more, maturing more and getting ready for a lot of what's coming up in this world. Evil, vileness, mockery, and it, it happened in such succession with us that it kind of threw me for a loop and I had to stop and take some time to refocus, re-strengthen, and it showed me that I need to trust a little bit more in the Lord than I was. I thought I was, but we always, we always need to have more. And there's a dear sister of mine that her and I have shared with each other you know, be careful you think you're something lest you fall. And the sister listening to this, she will know who she is. And I appreciate that encouragement from her too. Anyway, this video here, what I thought I would do is I want to, well, first of all, I'm kind of rambling here. I want to make sure I do this on more of a regular basis because we're hearing from people more and more often looking for fellowship. And I want to encourage women, be very careful in your flesh looking for fleshly fellowship. And... I had that myself and Jim told me pour yourself out for all the women out there so they can hear so they can have a little bit of um, female flesh fellowship if you want to call it that way I gotta be careful how I say this but to know that there's another woman out there striving in the things of God to hear it now let me preface this with my husband is an evangelist and we've been in this for 10 years and this ministry that we have is growing more and more for us meaning we have more and more burden on us to reach the lost and the Lord is giving us more responsibilities, more people. So what we do, our, t our time is very valuable, extremely valuable, and we're willing to share it with anybody who's serious about the things of God. But where we spend a lot of our time is pouring ourselves out on our ministries, or, or I'm sorry, our ministry website, our blogs, our Facebook pages to proclaim the word of God. We also have a business that we run and we do videos, we do audios, I'm doing videos for women and on top of that I also am a keeper at home in our tiny little um, house that we travel in on the road off grid. So we have a lot to do and we're, we're joyful for that and we've noticed that we're busy from morning to night whether it's with our carving business which praise the Lord is a lot less than the ministry but the ministry seems to start early in the morning late into the night sometimes early into the morning before we get to sleep and then wake up and start it all over again we're rejoicing in this we really are and so what I wanted to share today was what my role is in this ministry and I'm gonna work really hard to get more women's videos out there for encouragement and then to show you what we have going on and how we make disciples how we pour out our lives for everybody out there so that way I mean because we can't be on the phone with everybody we can't always be emailing everybody and we do we answer we do the best that we can but our discipleship is put out on the internet for everybody to to gather from to learn from to to get their needs met every once in a while we'll meet somebody or somebody will uh, contact us and say hey I've been following the website it's been really edifying to me do you think maybe you could do um, an article on such and such and then they tell us and then we work on them. So here I'm gonna, I, I've had this pointed at our website, our don'tperish.com website. I'm sitting in the trailer right now. Jim unhooked it into a parking lot and he's across the street getting an oil change on the van. So I thought it would be a really good time for me to, to do my video. So this is what we have, don'tperish.com. Now I want to show you, we have this website, and this is what I'm in charge of. Uh, I do all the changes on it. I had to teach myself how to do websites, so that was something new to me. And what I want to show you is we've got all kinds of articles and pages here. You can see audios, witnessing audios, videos. So what I wanted to do was walk through and show you some of the things that I have to take care of. Right here we have a link, or it's, I'm sorry, it's a page, and it takes you to our Spirit and Truth Discernment website and you can see look over here on the right hand side all these red links here are labels for articles that we've written and it goes on and on and on there's several hundred of them 
you can go at the top and you can search for a specific article underneath some of these like where's the women's one the one for women has everything under there like it goes from head covering dress submission encouragement all kinds of things under there and they're also um, you know you can see women be silent I kind of got them segregated that way too so if you're looking for topics I encourage you to take your husband elder whoever it is page through here and we always tell women because it's a tricky situation you obey your husbands if you have a husband that is a godly man an elder somebody who's a spiritual Christian true born-again believer that's walking in the things of God you need to go through him now if you're a single woman we encourage people we encourage single women who have no headship no or even married women who have an unbelieving husband you study in the word get yourself rounded and rooted in the word and then you can come and test what we have but always test us to the Word of God don't believe anybody you've got to go back to the Word of God so anyway this is just one of the places that we maintain now let me go back to don't perish here so there's hundreds of uh, sorry hundreds of I'm trying to kind of hurry before Jim gets back because we got to hit the road um, hundreds of articles there under the teaching articles it takes you right there now we also have a false teachers blog let me wait till it gets there where we here have hundreds of tested religious bodies out there and the reason we do this is because somebody will come to us and say hey you know I used to go to this this church or my friend is going there could you discern that for us and show us what's wrong with that well that's why we put these up here and it's not just Roman Catholics and Mormons and we we test everybody any denomination, Baptist, Methodist, Lutheran, Mormon, Roman Catholics, AOGs, non-denominationals, Mennonites, Amish, German Baptists, Hutterites, you name it, we test them all. So we've got that there. So we're so so far we've got our website, the teaching blog, the false teachers blog. Now we also have a John 424 radio where we have a page one of lots of audio teachings. Page two. Jim does all these audios, Jim does all the teaching. I do help on articles, I do help with ideas, I do help, but that's just it. I'm a helper. Jim is the one that the Lord works through for spreading out God's truth, and I'm his helper. And the reason I'm showing you all this is this is a lot of what I do here is the background, putting things up, taking them down, changing the websites, editing um, the audios. I have to. I had to teach myself how to transfer them from the audio device into the cloud, back down, up into into the website here and then videos here let me I guess I could have went into the audios I want to show you our video page now before I go too far on that I want to say we do put these into YouTube but we always encourage people if you find us in YouTube get out it's a vile place but I put them in YouTube and then I stream them into our website here so there's no ads, no nothing in there. So what you're going to see is we got a few playlists. Two Travelers for Truth playlist. What we do here is we show you some of our travels, some of our life. You can kind of get to know us through a personality, maybe a little bit more personable. It's kind of it's kind of a nice way because you can you can read our doctrine, what we stand on for articles and teachings and stuff, but this gives you a little bit deeper view that we are what we preach we live simple we're off grid we travel around we preach the gospel there's always um, some kind of a teaching in these we have a discernment teaching playlist which Jim does a lot of God's Word says he may just do random articles uh, or random videos that kind of explain what's going on uh, what we've learned what we've seen here's the encouragement for Christian women I see based on the number here I got to keep working on that and I'm going to do my best for that and an unbiblical teachers playlist and this is where we stream our videos let me pop in here real quick and show you the audios so here's the audio pages you can see a lot of those in there looks like I got to keep going here because my time is going fast and here's a bunch of witnessing videos we just started doing so you can hear what goes on when people approach us and Jim is giving out the Word of God so now let me do something here real quick hang on okay I noticed I'm using my time up really fast here so I got to keep going quick we have a don't perish Facebook page you can see on here we've got videos on there we're always putting scripture 
Um, a lot of times we take pictures of what's going on, you know, while we're traveling down the road, and I'll put scripture verses to it. You can tell it's taking a long time to load here. Um, things like this, and I'll do little videos and put scripture verses on them. And we do this just to encourage. We'll take pictures of where we're at. We're standing out, witnessing. Now, hold on, I'll show you another one. Well, wait, before I go to that one, what I want to, what I want to show you is... Um, Every time we do something new, unless we forget, we always post something on Facebook. Many times a day, a new article, a new witnessing, a new video, a new audio, it's always on Facebook. So if you're looking for what's going on the newest, you'll find it on Facebook. Because our websites are so big, it's hard to know what's the latest thing that just went on there. So you'll need to follow Facebook if you're looking for what we've just done that is the most recent. We also have a Facebook page called Tiny House Off-Grid Travels where it's kind of like our journal in a way, but yet people have been following it to see it's a little bit more of what we do while we're traveling on the road. Went to a dam, saw a moose, stopped at a bulk food store, lots of God's creation. Sometimes we share them in between other Facebook, the other Facebook pages, which I'm going to show you the last one that we have. Now the other Facebook page we have is our Riddleways Chainsaw Carvings page. And just so you know, Riddleways is an acronym for Rejoice in the Lord with all your strength. But anyway, we post on this because we have followers. This is how we generate business to support ourselves. We do chainsaw carvings and we post a lot of pictures on there. So in addition to all the websites that we maintain, the audios, the videos, and all the work that goes into that, I'm not boasting, I'm just sharing with you how I fill my days. I also have to be a keeper at home in our tiny little trailer. So I have coupon apps on my phone. I'm always looking for deals. I'm scouting them out when we go ahead of time. Discount stores, um, whatever they're running specials on, matching up coupons and stuff. It is a joyful job. It's a lot of responsibilities and it's a tremendous amount of work that we are glad to do for the saints out there. And that's how we pour ourselves out. So we encourage people, check out all our websites. See what we have going on today. It'll show, we show you on Facebook. Um, you can follow what we're doing, learn what we're teaching, and test us, of course. Go through your husbands. And we are here to help the saints, but we, at, we, we appreciate people who go read through the articles, learn who we are, understand the theology that we teach, which is according to God's word. And then we're also happy to help in between that. And this is like the fellowship that we can give to all the saints all around the world. Sorry to cut this short, but YouTube only gives you so much time to upload a video, so I gotta get going, and I'm gonna take care of this one, and I've got lots more that I wanna take care of within the next few days, Lord willing. Have a joyous day. Love to you, sisters. God be praised.